To create tests that you have already made in another program, but to collect the data um, using Edgeforia, you would want to create a uh, quick key. Now to create a quick key, it's just like creating any other test in Edgeforia. Um, currently right now I'm in the Aware tab. I'm going to go ahead and click on Tests. Within the Test tab of the Aware section of Edgeforia, down below on the bottom left corner is going to say create a test. After you click on create a new test, you have five options. Create a quick test key, create a new blank test, create an existing test, or create an item bank test. Today we're going to look at creating a quick test key. There will be other videos in the future about the, uh, the other ones. On the next screen, enter the test title. This is going to be a biology test, so I'm going to enter the test title of ecology test. And then also click on what grade level this is going to be. I'm creating this for my freshman, so I'm going to click on ninth grade. Next, it's going to ask you for what course this is associated with. So again, this is going to be for a biology test, and it's just like on your planner. You click which grade level or which school. You go down to the section that is your subject area, and then what subject specifically you're going to base this off of. And this is for the TEKS correlation as well as any kind of other uh, test keys and um, test banks. And then click Next when you pick the right one. The next screen is for the Build Test Key. It asks you for how many questions you have and how many number of responses. So, my test is 25 questions and it has four responses A, B, C, and D. Next, go through and enter all the answers to your test key. Now notice it does say A or F, B or G, C or H, D or J. You can either have that alternating or you can just keep it A, B, C, and D the entire way. Once you're done adding all your answers, then click Next. It will give you your done option and then click finish. Now once you're finished it will come up to the test you just created. To change the, the standards for your test click on the questions tab and go down and highlight or over, hover over the, the question you need to add the, the teak or the standard to. Click on the pencil where it says edit this question and that is where you add your teaks. Now on my test I have two free response questions so all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, click on number 25, click add a question, and since these are two free response questions I'm going to click construct a response. And since I'm creating this as a quick test key I'm not going to enter a question but I'm going to click on options Click on score and range. This is going to be a 0 to 4 question. And then we click finished. That will add that test, that question onto the test. I have a second for response question. So again, I'm going to click add a question. Click construct a response. And you can have any other type of question you want to add, but both of mine are for response. This one's going to be from the score range of 0 to 2, so again I'm going to click back on the Options tab, do 0 to 2, and then click Finished. Once you're done creating your test, click Save, and that will save your test for uh, future use. Now, if you are creating this test for your entire department, you also want to share this test. You go up to the top right corner where it says share and there's a hand. You click on share and you type in either the email, email address or name of the person you want to share with. It is connected to the WISD 
Outlook accounts. So if I want to send it to someone, I will just type in their first name, last initial, or first initial, last name, and then at wisd.org, and that will find them then. Once you share it with them, they will find that in their uh, test available section as well as under their analyze section once they scan and test. And it will specifically say test from you or from the person that created it. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any other questions, you can always email me back and I will help you out or contact the technology department.